Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome uh, everybody for joining us tonight. Uh, in episode 23 of your favorite show, The Late Night Talk with Ahmed Ali. Uh, now, uh, tonight, episode 23 as I mentioned, so that means there's only one week left till the end of this blessed month Ramadan in this special series. Now, that also means that you guys have a week's chance to get your name placed into the draw to win a free trip to Karbala. So I'm just saying that you just have one week left. Um, so whoever wants to participate, you guys got to, you know, work that magic and start calling on WhatsApp. But tonight's topic is a very special topic. And that's why we chose to talk about it on a very special night. So for you guys, all you have to do is just keep on thinking what tonight's topic is all about. But until then, let's go and jump into what's trending. And we'll be back very, very short. So do stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. Now, for what's trending today, you guys all probably heard of uh, uh, David McNeil. Uh, and this person uh, who is... Uh, uh, the weather tech founder and CEO, he just joined one of the most exclusive clubs in the world after paying a reported $70 million for a tour. What kind of tour? A tour in that car right there. The 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO. This is crazy. $70 million for that tour. Now the vehicle um, is believed to be the most expensive car in the world Tour de France, and it's, it's, it's a race. But this car is believed uh, to be the most expensive car. Why? Because there's only 39 cars made. So just the Ferrari uh, 250 GTO, just 39 of them were made. And this guy had a, a de France uh, winning tour. Crazy, crazy. Um, but, you know, they say every wish on this night uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to, you know, uh, make Ferrari, make a cheaper version of their car, like a $20,000 car Ferrari. I'd buy it, you know. It's, a, it's just a wish for Ahmed Ali to have. But what else is trending for tonight? The oldest footprint of an animal um, have been uh, uncovered in south, uh, of, of southern uh, Asia. Now, this footprint right there, if we can get it a big uh, bigger so we can see the 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 full footprint, but yeah, right there, they're considering that to be the oldest footprint. It looks like a flamingo foot, uh, but you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a creature 546 year old footprint. And they're saying this was uh, before the animals evolved. Um, so, you know, uh, I don't know if, if, if it, one question rises in my mind. How did they know how old that was? Maybe they have like concrete under there, but you know, uh, other than that, I don't know if concrete existed back then, but that's for you guys to decide and for the scientists to decide as well and look at how old that actually is. But that's it for what's trending. Let's go and jump into tonight's topic. Now we all know that the month of Ramadan, the holy month of Ramadan, has been singled out from the rest of the month across the year. One reason for this, among some reasons, is that the holy Quran was revealed on this month. And this is something very, very uh, beneficial for everyone to tune in to continue watching what tonight's all about. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions chapter 2 verse 185, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the month of Ramadan that in which the Quran was sent down a guidance for mankind and clear signs of guidance and distinction. Among the nights of Ramadan, I mean all of them are special, but there's one night in particular that it's so special. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it's worth a, th a thousand months, better than a thousand months. So that means it's, it's, it's approximately 83 years. So what that means, if you spend this night, as we'll talk about it, if you spend this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you 83 years of worship. I don't know, this, this is constant worship 24 hours. I don't know which 
person living on this planet or has lived on this planet that has this kind of, uh, of, of capability, worship 24-7 for 83 years. Uh, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you that opportunity. The Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has favored Friday over the other days, the month of Ramadan, over all other months, and the night of decree, the night of destiny, Laylatul Qadr, over any night across the year. So tonight, my dear viewers, on the 23rd night of Ramadan, we're trying to find out one thing. And not one thing and not one question that we ask in tonight is, how powerful is the night of power, the night of destiny? How powerful is it? All you got to do is let us know how. Simply pick up your iPhones, your Samsungs, your Huawei's, your Sony Ericsson's, whatever. Open WhatsApp, dial the number shown right there, plus 964-774-067-1836. And let us know by dialing that number via WhatsApp. Uh, you can give us a call during the show. You can shoot us a text message. You can send us a voice message. You can also go to Facebook at Imam Hussain 3 tv scroll down, and you'll see the live broadcast as Ahmed Ali is coming to you live even on Facebook as previously. Uh, but you can go check us out there. Leave a comment, thumbs up, share that, because whoever comments and whoever calls, sends us a message or sends us a voice message, their names will be placed in this blessed on this blessed sticky note, in this blessed fishbowl, if, if your names aren't in the bowl, you have one week to get it in here, in, in this blessed fishbowl, on this blessed night. So we're giving you a lot of blessings tonight. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us blessings to share it with you guys. And on this blessed night, if, if, if you participate, you know, according to the narrations, your chance of winning, you know, uh, narrations from Ahmed Ali, Sahih Ahmed Ali, uh, you the chance of you winning is multiplied. Um, but let's take a quick break and come back very short. Now, as we said before, and before I do mention what I said before, I just want to encourage everybody to tune in tonight. I'm just opening Facebook right now uh, to check out all the comments because we're getting a few comments coming up. But I want to encourage everyone to call in and join us tonight once again. We are live from the holy city of Karbala. Um, the number to call us, right there, right there. That's the number to call us. And that's the question. And that's the episode or that's the show. But tonight, we're trying to talk about one topic. And we're trying to ask one question. How powerful is the night of power? And that's very, very important. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the night of power is one of the greatest nights out there. One proof that indicates or that shows us how great or how magnificent this night is, is chapter 97 of the Holy Quran, where it's actually named after this night. Al-Qadr, Surah Al-Qadr, chapter Al-Qadr, meaning this night, meaning destiny. Now, let's read this out together. Uh, if you don't know where that is, I'll just, you know, I'll just read it out for you because uh, I'm so nice. But, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Surely, we have sent it, the Qur'an, down in the night of destiny. What will make you know what the, de what the night of destiny is? The night of destiny is better than a thousand months. The angels and the Holy Spirit descend in it with the permission of their Lord, with decrees for every affairs. Peace until the emergence of dawn. This is Laylat al-Qadr. This is the chapter of Qadr. Five very, very strong uh, verses from the Holy Quran. Now, why so great? Why is this night so great? Well, number one, I just gotta talk to you straight. Number one, no, keep, keep this right here. Number one, Number one, what we need to do, let's talk here. Number one, why it's so great and why it's so powerful. Well, it's the commemoration where the last sign or the last book of guidance was revealed to humankind. It's a tribute to the commencement uh, of the message which was revealed to mankind by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by their creator. A message which shows 
the person how to achieve happiness in both worlds. And that's very important for us because some hadiths also indicate to us that on this specific night, everyone's destiny, everyone's destiny is written. Everyone's destiny is written. That's why in the du'as that we read, we find that ask for any favor. The du'as has specific lines, specific wishes that you want on this special night. And that's very important to keep in mind because when we do start, well, we'll get to the a'mal later on, but when we do read the lines in the du'as, very special wishes that a person recites for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give to him. And that's very important because according to narrations, the destiny of every single person is mentioned or, or, or is written down. So basically, what we're trying to say is that the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Laylatul Qadr, as I mentioned in the verse earlier, Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr. Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand years, meaning mathematically, if you were, if you were to speak mathematics, because I'm the mathematic genius, a thousand months. So open your calculator, divide that up by 12, and you'll know how many years that is, and it'll come up to 83, as I mentioned earlier. But one thing to actually keep in mind and to keep on thinking of it is the believers are encouraged to stay awake the entire night in worship, not playing PES or FIFA or PUBG, uh, you know, not, not, not playing games, but in worship. And that's very important. That's very important. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you and I and the entire human race the opportunity to return back to him. So just in case you have, you had, not have, you had a past of wrongdoings filled with sins. Some, some people have done a lot of bad things. It's not over yet. This night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, although that the month of Ramadan is, is, is an opportunity for everyone to repent back, but this night specifically is a night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the chance for everyone to turn back to Him and ask for forgiveness. Because according to the narrations, the holy month of Ramadan, its whole of entirety is about self-reflection, self-discipline, and devotion towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when a person devotes himself specifically on this night, no matter how much he has sins, in a narration, even if he has sins as much as the stars in the sky, as much as the stars in the heavens, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove them. You know, I don't have that many sins, but just in case I did, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove those sins. And another narration, which is interesting by Imam al-Baqir, he says, whoever stays awake on this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him a thousand deeds, will erase all of his sins and change them, transform the sins into deeds. So if you have like what, trillions of sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will transform trillions of sins into trillions of deeds. And that's one of the great blessings of this night. Now, spirituality is something that a lot of people must understand in this night. You know, yes, we can really relate to this night by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for our favors, asking for our wishes, you know, letting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know what we need the most, although He doesn't know what we need the most, but He wants, He likes his abd, he likes his servants, he likes his people to turn back to him and really reflect on the blessings that he has given them and ask for those blessings to continue. But we just received a text message from Ismat Mahdi from India. She says, Layat al Qadr is the night when the first verse of the Quran was revealed to the Islamic Prophet. So, this is the most powerful. Nights. Okay, thank you very much, Asmat Mahdi, uh, for letting us know why this night 
uh, is uh, the greatest night. Now, j just a small correction uh, according to that. It wasn't just the first verse that was revealed. It's the whole Quran, Anzalnahu fi al qadr Anzalnahu is not Anzalna, or an, it's, 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 not, it's, it's the entire book which was re revealed uh, on this night. But it gradually revealed to the Prophet, and he revealed, it, it, gradually the Prophet revealed it uh, to the people. Uh, now, this is a, a different topic for a different night of hashtag LNT, which we get to talk about uh, the Quran. But tonight, we're, we're trying to ask you guys one question. We're trying to ask you guys, how powerful is the night of Qadr, is the night of power, is the night of destiny? How powerful is it? All you got to do is pick up the phone, open WhatsApp, down the number shown below, and let us know what you guys think about tonight's topic. Let's take a very, very quick break uh, so I can uh, get some water. And we'll be back very, very short. All right. All right, so the break is done. Welcome back, dear viewers. Hope, inshallah, everyone enjoy it. Is, is, uh, is, is enjoying their night. That was a very quick break. I didn't even get the chance to blink. Uh, but, uh, all right, let's take a break now. Now, once again, we do welcome everybody for, for, for joining us tonight. Uh, but, uh, we do remind everyone to call in again and let us know what you guys think uh, and participate in tonight's episode for a chance to win a free trip to Karbala uh, and your play, and names will place in this fishbowl. Now let's go to Facebook and read some of the comments uh, that we got uh, on Facebook. Now I, I, I do appreciate everyone sending their salams to Imam al Hussein and Bafal Abbas but honestly this is not welcome to Karbala as I mentioned again. Shout out to welcome to Karbala and shout out to Muhammad Ali my brother. But this is not welcome to Karbala so don't Send your salams, but in his uh, in his show. Ayman um, Zahra uh, again, another participant. He says, uh, "It's the night where our amal or deeds are presented before our present Imam Ajallah uh, Farajul Sharif." Yes, thank you very much, Ayman Zahra, uh, for joining us uh, tonight. Another text message from. Farhad Azizi again from Canada, my brother from Canada, shout out to those in Canada. Salams, the Knights of Qadr uh, is so powerful as it's reported in Hadith that whoever keeps awake on the Knights of Qadr and prays shall have their sins forgiven even if they equal the number of the stars in the heavens. Thank you very much, uh, Farhad Azizi, for uh, retelling me the narration. I just said, no, I'm kidding. Uh, thank you very much, Farhad Azizi, for telling us or for sharing uh, with that, uh, sharing that with us tonight. Now, there's a, a big dispute between the people um, who say that uh, Laylatul Qadr is on the 19th, on the 21st, or on the 23rd. Now, we have what's called a minor Laylatul Qadr, which was the 19th, and then we have the greater Laylatul Qadr, which was the or which is the 23rd, which is tonight. Now, tonight is very important. Why? Because a lot of the Imams, or most of the Imams, they were seen leaving their families, leaving their companions, going out somewhere to devote to, to, to be uh, uh, devote to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, according to many narrations, the twenty third of Ramadan, the night of the 23rd of Ramadan, is considered to be the greatest Layla of Qadr, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran. But let's go uh, and ask the expert, Sayyid Hussein Al-Qazwini, who has joined us again in tonight's episode. Let's go and ask him about how powerful is the night of power. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين قال تعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة مباركة إنا كنا منزلين فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم صدق الله العلي العظيم So how powerful is the night of power? It is so powerful that our destiny for the next year, for an entire year, from births to death, to marriage, to job opportunities, 
to travel. All the things that happen to us, whether they are good or they are bad, they are decided on Laylat al-Qadr. That is something very powerful. A person's destiny for an entire year that is checked off on Laylat al-Qadr. And not in Zannahu fi Laylat al-Qadr. Wa ma adraka ma Laylat al-Qadr. How would you know what is the value of Laylat al-Qadr? So this is one. Two, the angels of Allah descend on the earth on Laylat al-Qadr. Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruh not just the angels, but a special angel by the name of Ruh. Now who is Ruh? Is he a special angel? This is one opinion. Another opinion is that he's Jibra'il alayhi uh, salam. Another opinion is that he's not an angel because the Quran says Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruh So this our ruh is not part of the angels. Of course, where are, where are they going? Where are these angels descending upon? A hadith tells us that they descend upon the imam of every time. The imam of every time receives the angels and hence on Laylatul Qadr, the angels will go down to the imam of our time, Sahib al-Asr wal-Zaman, al-Hujjat ibn al-Hassan al-Mahdi, arwahuna lahu al fida so Laylatul Qadr is extremely powerful. It is the most significant night of the year. Not to be wasted. Not a single moment of the night should be wasted. Should be spent into worship. Should be spent into supplication. Should be spent into asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to choose for us the best destiny for the next year. Insha'Allah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammadin wa alihi al Thank you very much, Sayyid Hassan Qazwini, for joining us tonight. And very uh, well said, and how he explained why the night of power is so powerful uh, and how the night of power is powerful. Thank you very much, uh, Sayyid Hassan, for joining us again in tonight's episode. Uh, but if we were to go back and continue what we were saying, and before that, I would just like to tell everyone to join us tonight and participate um, and let us know what you guys think about tonight's topic. Now, one uh, interesting uh, message we got uh, or uh, Facebook comment that we got from Maryam Rana. He says, Salam, along with the virtues of the night uh, that you mentioned, I've also read that Wilayat of Amir al-Mu'mineen was also decreed upon this earth this night. So it's undescribably powerful, so powerful that with prayer on this night, you can change your destiny. You could get what you want. You could heal your broken hearts, attain forgiveness, and most importantly, you can get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So pray wisely, worship to your full potential, and make the most of this night. Thank you very much, uh, Rana, uh, Maryam Rana, for joining us tonight again. Uh, once again, we do give a shout out to, to those who are constantly participating in tonight's or in every episode. Uh, now, uh, I believe we're getting a call from Zamir from Pakistan. Salamun alaikum, brother Zamir. Welcome to Hashtag Galanti. And the question for you tonight is How powerful is the night of power? India, sorry. India, yeah. Hello? Salamu alaikum, brother Zamir. Welcome to hashtag. Wa alaikum salam. Welcome to hashtag LNT. And the question for tonight How powerful is the net of power? Yeah, about the question, I'm gonna say only what Quran has said about this, this night of destiny in the Quran. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Hello? I think, I think the, the, the line was cut. Ah, oh, it's still there, okay. Hello? Hello, yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, I just answered the question. I'm, I'm saying only that it's, it, the answer of the question is given by the Quran. Surah Qadr, as the Quran says, we 
read the Quran in the night of the destiny. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, greater than a thousand months. Uh, so basically, he believes it's it's uh, it's so powerful. This night is so powerful because the Quran was revealed in this night, and it's worth more than a thousand uh, months. Thank you very much, uh, Zamir from India. Wow, Zamir from India. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, 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 from from India, not Pakistan. All right, thank you very much. Let me just write this. Your name will go into the bowl now. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Zamir, for joining us tonight. Now, lastly, I want to talk about a few things that are recommended on this night. They're called the A'mal. They're called the recommendations, uh, the deeds to do on this night. Uh, and it's, it's very well beneficial. If you can't do all, try to do as much as you can. Now, the first one... Is ghusl. If you don't know what ghusl is, ghusl is what you what you do after the, the wash you do after uh, janaba or after uh, you know in, in Friday is ghusl. You wash yourself. Um, number two, uh, atu rakaat prayer. After the fatah of each rakaat, I recite Surah Al Ikhlas uh, seven times. Number three, seek forgiveness from Allah by saying Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa atubu alayh seventy times. Uh, number four, while in prostration, sujood, curse the killers of Amir Mu'mineen alayhi salam by saying, Allahumma al'an qatilata Amir Mu'mineen will continue after this call. Angela from the USA, salamun alaykum sister Angela, welcome to Hashtag Galanti. The question for you tonight, how powerful is the night of power? Hello? Yes, hello. Once again, I welcome you to Hashtag Galantee and your question once again to you, how powerful is the night of power? I think there's a problem going on. Uh, Hello? Are some technical difficulties going on with the, with the sounds and the connection uh, because um, Karbala is packed. When Karbala is packed, internet is bad. Anyways, um, continue swiftly uh, with the A'mal. The, the Perform a ziyarah of Imam Al-Hussain, especially on this night in Karbala, or recite the special ziyarah of Imam Al-Hussain in the nights of destiny. As soon as I raise my voice, the guy in the background raises his voice as well. Number six, recite Surah Al-Ankabut, chapter number 23, Ar-Rum, chapter 30, ad dukhan chapter 44 of the Holy Quran. And last, recite Dua Al-Jawshan Kabir and Al-Iftitah. So, lastly, go out there, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask for anything that you want, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you this, uh, of course, if it's beneficial for you on this specific night. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive everyone and don't forget me in your du'as and don't forget the crew in your du'as as well because hashtag LNT is living because of your du'as. Alright, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.